coma. Mumbin, that's incredible. What did he say? He said that he had to go and he'd call me sometime. Men, just because they're conscious doesn't mean they're conscientious. Well, at least you brought him back to life. I mean, you can feel good about that. My patient wants the opposite. What do you mean? Muffin, how do you feel about euthanasia? Well, I've never been to Asia, but I think that, you know, the youth in America is probably the same. Why? Is your patient Asian? No, sweetie. Euthanasia is when you help someone die so that they don't feel no more pain. Like a, um, a mercy killing. He wants you to kill him? What would you do, Muffin? Oh, I could never do that, Trixie. Is there any way you can change his mind? It ain't no use. He's dead set on dying. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Trixie, you go get those silly dying thoughts out of that man's head, you hear? Nurse, you gotta help me. I can't take it anymore. You gotta end my misery. Mr. Green, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, there's so many reasons to live. Like what? My health? Well, music. I listen to goth. Movies? I watch porn, which only makes me horny and reminds me that I have no one. Aww. Children? They throw rocks at me. Well, I can't do this, Mr. Green. Besides, it ain't even legal. Legal doesn't take the pain away, nurse. Well, then take an aspirin or something. Only if you have some of that sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so I can die, medicine. Is that a cold, nurse? I'm ready to go. Put that away. I don't want any drugs. Then how are we going to do this, Mr. Green? I want to go out the same way I came in. How's that? Well, I was born by the snatch, and I don't want to die by the snatch. So come up here and sit on my face and take my breath away.